hello, 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 hello. How are we doing, my friends? Good to see y'all out here. Welcome, welcome, welcome on in. Excellent to have you. Happy Friday. Don't be calling me out for being late. I started exactly on time. Y'all are early. I'm here precisely when I need to be. Tell me I'm late. No. No. Not at all. Well, you start the streams and you have a pre-stream going so the people have time to get in and get settled. Bam. Logic. <laughs> Welcome on in, everybody. Good to have y'all out here. Hello, hello, hello. Liko, how you doing? Lulu Goblin, Scribbly Dibbly, Iron Knight, Kaden, what's up? Frostbite, Umberfy, I see we got Tezweb, what's going on? Hello, Lily, Alenia, Remy, Max, Teacher of Psy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Skipper, how we doing? Jax, hello. Standing today? We're gonna stand for a bit. I was talking to Catherine recently because she's getting a standing desk set up and we were talking about it and I was just like, She's like, how do you like it? What do you like about yours? Turns out she's getting pretty much the exact same setup I have, we, and we didn't even talk about it. She's like, this is what I'm getting. I'm like, that, I, that's, that's what I have here. Um, and then I was like, I should really stand more. I should, I should really stand more. So, we're doing that. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna see. Are you going to PAX? PAX West? No, I'm not. Cha-ching! At least not right now. Um, I haven't. No, I do have plans that weekend. Yeah, no, I'm not going. <laughs> we're going. We got. We're hanging out with the family on Saturday, Friday. Sid and I are doing something for our one-year wedding anniversary, and then Sunday of that weekend, I gotta tear up my deck. Woo! The, our entire deck in our backyard. The previous owners did not like seal it correctly, so it just. We since we moved in, two. We've been in the house for two years. When we got here originally, we we're like, ooh, the deck's a little rough. And now two years later, it is just completely rotted through and people are falling through it. Thankfully, it's only like this far off the ground. So like, they don't really get hurt if they do. But yeah, so we're finally tearing that up and getting new stuff out there. <laughs> you still work on the building with Whip World? No, no, I don't. Um, I, I do it occasionally for some creative stuff. We'll tour it occasionally on streams, but I've moved beyond that series. Um, I. I don't ever plan to go back to it because it's been so long that if I did, since I, it's been two years, I know, since we moved in the house, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, if I go back to building with Whip in just any essence, basically I'm considering that a single player survival series, I'm gonna start a new world um, for sure because since building with Whip, we've gained well over a million subscribers. And I think it's more like we've gained 1.2 million subscribers. So there's a vast majority of my audience has just never seen the building with Whip World. And if I come back in and I'm like, I've been playing in this world for five years, let's do this. And just like keep going on it. It just, it'd be a little weird. <laughs> Music Radical. Yeah, it's a, it's called, the song is called It's a Blast. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's doing it. It's doing it out there. Room tour. This is my room. Those are my play buttons. That's my chair. That's my couch. That's that's the that's what I, I like. I consider it the three to three thirty p.m. couch of my ten minute break of scrolling on the phone. Every day about three o'clock, I'm like, I'm tired. I need a break, and I just turn around and I just <laughs> lay on the couch on my phone. I'm just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> it's great. It's fantastic. It's it's turned into a daily ritual, and I it helps it helps a lot. <laughs> Can you do a setup to her? There's nothing really too crazy about mine right now. Also, I don't want to show it because it is disgusting. I I need to clean it before I show the camera angle going this way that I'm looking at. I got to clean the desk. <laughs> you have a netherite sword IRL. Ooh, how'd you survive the nether? What's above the golden play button? It's a skateboard rack. There's a longboard on the ground. Unfortunately, uh, the longboard I have is a cruiser, so it's kind of like curved. Um, and it's a, it's a bamboo board, so it's like really flexible. But unfortunately, with the wheels, I think I need, just need to take the wheels off to then put the, just the deck up there because I'm not riding it anymore. Uh, but it was my dad's old longboard that he gave me when I went off to college to get around campus more easily. So I like keeping it. I, I want to put it up there, but every time I do, it falls down. So I need to figure out a better way to hold it there because <laughs> it's fallen down a few times. It just like landed right behind me. I'm like, oh, God, <laughs> but it works. Do you have a chair? Chair. Ignore the dog hair on it. I have a wall rig for a cruiser. Yeah, I'll show you the board. It 
it's an old school what sector nine you can see it's pretty beat up <laughs> um but yeah no this thing is really old this my dad wrote on this board for like when we were kids he got it and then uh when i went up to college my board was way too small so he gave me this because i needed something good around campus I didn't want to go through all the process of getting a bike or anything like that. So I would just longboard between classes because the campus I was at for college was pretty flat. So looks beautiful. Yeah, I really like the board. It's a cool one. So I'd love to. And I only absolutely ate it once in the entire four years of college. So I'm pretty proud of myself on that. But that one, the time I did eat it and just crashed, I was on my way to a final. And I was running late, so I was like bored and pretty quick. And I was going, I kind of jumped into the street and I was going, and there's a construction zone across. <laughs> and so there's like pebbles everywhere, like little construction debris, like rocks and everything. <laughs> and I clipped one on the board and that thing is great. Flat surfaces, you get any, you get anything else. And uh, you, I went flying, the board went backwards and <laughs> I just, I show up to the final and my entire arm is just I walk in a few minutes late and I went to the bathroom because the teacher was very the professor was very specific on if you're late to my class you don't get to take the test she was like you have to be there early or you have to be at least at minimum on time before I start talking and I'm like I can't sit down at my desk I'm just like just bleeding so much <laughs> And so I like go into the bathroom. I'm just there like over the sink with paper towels. And then I, I'm like, okay, I just finally like it, it's it's okay now. And I walk into the final and I'm just holding my arm <laughs> like, with paper towels on it. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Can I have an excuse? I swear I was going to be on time. <laughs> and she was like, what did you do? And I was like, I just held up the skateboard and she's like, take your seat. <laughs> I was, oh man, that was rough. I was it was one of those classes too where like the final was like 60 percent of your grade so if you don't take it you just you fail the class so it's like oh man it was a rough one it was a it was a it was an interesting day i passed i did pass i got like a b or b plus as i'm just like just, i'm like and i'm left-handed too so i'm like trying to write and i can't put my arm down so i'm like writing like this and the person next to me was just like just like looking over like are you okay dude so new watch yeah i just got this for myself i just i uh i just decided for a birthday present i've been thinking about getting one for a while i was like i'm gonna be a smart watch person now so i got one of the google pixel watches it got here yesterday got it set up it's, i like it so far i like it what class um i think it was an econ like it was like econ 300 301 or something like that i don't know some some it was junior year of college so my third year of college so it was third yeah i did kind of like a weird where i did computer science for the first two years and then i moved into business school stuff over there um so i i, I like the order i was taking classes was so weird do you like the pixel 7 yeah i'm a, definitely a google phone boy i like my google phones i just don't i don't like apple anymore i don't i, don't, I just like the I, I like the simplicity of google stuff and i feel, i don't know were you a great student? Um, I was a quiet student. Uh, and then if I was confused, I'd usually just go to office hours and ask questions because I didn't want to hold up the whole class. But I mean, Pleased I passed the classes you. and I didn't skip any assignments. So I think uh, that's pretty much as good. And I was not an annoyance in class. So I say that's a good student. <laughs> but who knows? Depends how you want to talk about it. Uh, Alenia, thank you so much for the gift membership earlier. Brooklyn, thank you so much for the two months. Leave for college in two days. Hey, good luck. And uh, if you're riding a longboard, uh, maybe take it slow when you're going to finals. That's that's my word of advice. Or just don't ride the longboard. Just walk and give yourself extra time. Hello, Lily. Thank you so much for the five gift memberships. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my friends, if you have not already, we got a thousand people in here. We're not even at 400 likes. So please be sure to leave a like on the stream. But we can get into the Minecraft. Here we are in front of the nether portal as I've got a book. Whip project list today i want to start off stream with just kind of running around and uh filling out the book where anything we look at that's like hmm maybe we could expand this maybe we could fix it we can add some things here we're gonna write it down and we're just gonna go through i've got a few already one i can show y'all i meant to do it last stream and then we did not but you know that's how it goes 
fixing sugar cane entrance today maybe it's gonna go on the list for sure uh but what the first thing i want to make sure we fix for sure just because i want to expand the nether hub soon is um i didn't do trap doors because i ran out of warp wood unlike any of this you can see i think i did it no i did not i swear one of the sides i did no apparently i just said no trap doors going <laughs> anywhere out but all the frog lights are supposed to be covered with trap doors like that right there where there's no frog lights behind it but i want to have the frog lights cover with the warp trap doors going all the way down just to break up the flatness a tiny tiny bit so that's one of them uh, let's go hey, nether sweet. my girlfriend's birthday uh, is officially one month away any advice on a gift dude, so i want it to be gifts. special because it will be officially two years since we, two moved, years in since together. we moved in together honestly i was a feather one thank you so much for the dono i would say plan an event that's that's the way it seems to i don't know i feel like a you can always get like a special gift on the side or something like that but i i think the what sid and i've been trying to do for like gifts for each other more recently is like plan an event or a day for something to do together i, I if you can think of something fun there that would be a good I, I would go that route but maybe i'm wrong maybe they really like they're there uh, you gotta like learn the like the love language of your i mean two years now you probably know <laughs> but <laughs> yeah the future flip curse is today uh nether hub add we're gonna do dash add warped trap doors sorting collection system for bartering farm so the collection system for the bartering farm is i want to add hoppers underneath these chests that are then we have the space to do it in here we have the ability to go down and over and then i want to bring it out i think it'll probably come towards here and we're going to create another larger ring and in there i think i can get an item elevator that'll take items up off of the here or we can break a little bit more bedrock if we need to and then uh going up from there i'll take her advice i think she loves something more than just another gift yeah what sid and i've been doing recently we're uh we get, we go and get like a massage do like a couple's massage or something it's, it's always fun and it's like a treat for everybody too uh da, 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 da. yeah okay so yeah i want to do that collection system for bartering farm uh we can go outer ring for nether hub that's kind of another one that i want to throw in here we're just kind of going around and talking about different projects today to get started and then we're going to pick a few of the more simple ones and just kind of get them working um do, 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 do. extend nether hub into nether that's working okay pleased to meet you i would love to bring it down this way a little bit more and clear out more of that because right now all you can really see when you're looking pleased back at it you. uh say from like over here is there's just the hole but outside of that unless you get close to be able to see to here where then you can see like the end stone and everything you can't really tell that that's the way to the roof so i want to bring it down a little bit below where we have like the ceiling there so i want to extend it down a touch so that we can get more space on that um and i think that'll work and then i think in the route where we're going to be adding the extra ring we're going to also add uh we're going to go here diagonal ice boat roads to portals because i right now the four that directions we have they're good like they work they work well enough um but i want to be able to get diagonals like that's the end portal i also want to like mark those um turn portals into builds we need to we need to do a better job of like labeling all the portals and everything that girl tamiria thanks so much for coming a super fan i really do appreciate that and mandolin thanks so much for the two months i hope you have an amazing weekend as well thank you so very much uh da, 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 da. barrels you need barrels for docks yeah, that's one of them uh let's go from here because i also have a side project that we need to do on stream today uh, i've been doing a little bit of digging and uh, <laughs> i really need to 
I really need to fix these. Uh, so we're gonna go to the end. To the end. You know, can I actually do this? No, I can't. Okay. How are you today? I'm doing good today. I'm doing good. I got a really good workout in this morning. Took the doggies. I, it was one of those days where I woke up and I was just like out of bed instantly. And it was kind of nice. I feel like I don't get that very often. And mar normally I'm like the, I want to stay in bed forever. But the days where I do get up and just like get moving, I feel like for me, I'm like, yeah, this, I feel, I like this. Okay, we have Elytra durability. We are fine. Don't let me forget to re-equip the Elytra chat. And we're gonna turn this down because I don't wanna make y'all leave because of crazy noises. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. We'll just start here. How long do you plan on streaming? Usually we go Fridays is usually about three hours. Uh, the video is, I'm done recording it. So I'm waiting on Marcos to get the editing done and everything like that. So uh, however long that takes him. And, but that's all pretty much all I got going for the rest of today. All right, to fix the Dwarven Cave entrance. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're gonna require the tools and we'll scope out what we wanna do in the end here. So if you got any ideas for end projects, let me let me know what you're thinking. School starting Monday. Ooh, I feel I heard some people started school this week. It's like you. I'm sorry. Okay, there's one, and uh, there are so many under pearls already. I don't know. I can't remember who designed this farm, but whoever thought that that right there was enough to just get rid of the ender pearls, there's no way. <laughs> that thing backs up so much. Uh, we can just put this guy back in here. That's fine. Dad, when I have school, because I'm gonna miss your 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 shrimps. I'm assuming you mean streams, but you know, this could be a shrimp. Who knows? Depends on the context, I guess. It's right before lunch starts and I can't watch during lunch. Well, the replays will always be available if you do want those. University students uh, start in two, three weeks. Yeah, I remember for the college I went to, we started really early. So we, uh, I was usually like right this time of year is when I was like getting packed at home. And like next week is when I would start going down to get ready for classes and things. College course is starting Monday, but I think my high school back home was has been in season for almost two weeks now. Woo! Awful, 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 awful. Okay, you're done. You're you need you need some, some experience. I've been playing Minecraft before, but they updated the Nether, and yet I'm still a terrible player. Can you give me some advice? Because well, you're the best Minecraft player now. Uh, you're playing before they updated the Nether. The Nether is not as scary as it looks is I think a big one that I can say is the nether is like outside of the crimson forest I feel like the nether is not that bad to go into but honestly just taking it slow and bringing unfortunately you have to have a lot of your inventory space dedicated to like survival items but it can be a good way to like stay alive and if you're scared of like dying and losing everything working towards netherite is really good because that can't burn in lava so that's one way to keep it safe also, if you're really terrified and you're just like, you're playing single player, there are mods that you can download or data packs that you can get, I believe on Bedrock and Java, where you can get graves. So you can, if you die, all your stuff goes into a grave and then you don't have to deal with like the, man, I have to go get everything again because I died and it all despawned, blah, 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 blah. But like, if it's your own single player world and like that is what makes you not want to play the game, just go get, just go get a plug-in or a data pack or whatever that's gonna make it so you have a little grave. I think it's a, he's spawn killing, I don't know, how rude of me. Just spawn camping over here. I don't have time to watch the stream live, but I'll watch the whole thing tomorrow. Hey, Dave, you have a good one, all right? And for future Dave, I hope you also have a good one. I'm back, what happened? We're fixing up some tools right now because uh, I have broke nearly everything. Y'all, the amount of sand that I've been placing and digging. Look at these stats. Look at these times used. Sand is now <laughs> up here. I think I placed like 20,000 sand in the in this second episode after the 50,000 sand or whatever we placed in the previous episode. Whoever thought in working in a desert, all you would do is place sand. Who would have thought? Oh, that's broken. 
Oh, there's the ring the bell shovel. Wow! If you haven't already, my friends, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. We got almost 1,400 people in here. We're not even at 600 likes. You can do it, I believe. How big are your huskies? I had one once that was 92 pounds. That was not fat. Yeah, we had a Malamute growing up. She was 105 pounds. She was a, she was a big one. She was, we loved her. She was great. Um, your videos seem to help me stay focused while studying, and your content is really awesome, fun. Awesome, cool. awesome, awesome. Uh, Tamaria, thank you so very much for the donut. I really appreciate that. That's kind of you. Um, glad to be able to help you out on that front. But yeah, Coda is like 65 pounds, and Nova's like 50 pounds. Nova's pretty small. For a, she was she's supposed to be a Malamute, and for a Malamute, she's a, a little, tiny girl. I posted a picture of her yesterday in the Discord for those who haven't seen the announcement channel in there. We're gonna keep that one. Finish rewatching the entire of the hardcore series again. Woo! Why don't you use headphones? Uh, they hurt my head. Earbuds don't hurt my head. <laughs> I have yet to find a pair of headphones that does not hurt my head because I have a very big head. <laughs> So anything that's made for one size fits all for my head it's it's too small <laughs> i have yet to find a headphone company that has where it's a pair of headphones that they're like this is for people with large heads i'm just like still doesn't fit still doesn't fit <laughs> like i i keep, i want to be a person that like wears hats and things mostly just like stay out of the sun and everything like that because you know i'm in that phase of life now and I'm like, I, I finally found a hat recently when I was out just like picking up, uh, we, my, uh, for my birthday, my younger brother got me a tomato plant to put in the yard. Uh, he's, he's decided that, uh, every single time he gets a gift for Sidorai, he's getting us a plant to put in our yard. So that's great. <laughs> uh, but I was like getting like a, a pot to put it in. So I was at the hardware store and there was a hat there that was, I was like, I'm going to try it on. And I was like, oh my God, it fits my head. <laughs> it's like, I'm buying this instantly. <laughs> Razor wired, it's adjustable. I've tried them. Um, I actually, Razor stuff is fine, but all the experience I've had with Razor stuff is they break really easily. I like Corsair stuff for like their keyboards and mice too. and everything. Razor's just a little too flashy for me. Like they're, they're a little too, all, all of the stuff you get with Razor is just so bright. I have a large noggin myself, but the only headphones I've owned that I can tolerate are the Corsair ones I have now. See, I have like three different pairs of Corsair headphones in my in my closet over there because I heard that from everybody, and I've even like talked with some Corsair support people about it, being like, "Hey, I've tried these other headphones; they don't fit. Like they're they're still too small, and these are your ones, and I have it at the largest setting." Blah blah blah, and I'm like what do you what would you recommend they're like okay for people who those don't fit we typically recommend this one over here and so i i've gotten those i've done it and then i've come back and i've been like all right that didn't work what else what else can we try and they're just like uh maybe this one and i'm like you guys are just having me buy your whole catalog at this point <laughs> Alrighty, there we go shovels repaired elytra back on we're keeping that shovel nope shovel's not repaired Is that enough? Probably not. One more swipe. One more swipe. Yay! Perfect. Okay. There we go. We got that. Let's throw the ender pearls out. We don't need those. Everybody make sure to ring the bell and subscribe. The tools said so, not me. And then we can put all the tools back in there. And let's talk about the end. Weehee! Build your own hats. Leather can be easy to work with, and there's some great patterns out there. Oh, interesting. I don't think that's a skill set I necessarily possess, but like, I'm here for it for other people to own it. Okay, so in the end, I actually I love the canopy up here that we have, and then what I want to do is I want to make it more magical. I feel like the end when you walk into it right now, we got a cool vibe. It's fun. It's really exciting kind of seeing everything out here. Like this looks good to me. 
but let's go there this can be another hub and we're gonna give three pages to each thing just so we have time to we can add more later we can go end island uh da -da 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 -da. standing platforms around gateways just something simple i'm thinking it's literally just gonna be like some glass i think that could be a good one that we can do and i have this idea for rune stones using the minecraft enchanting language i want to do that and then i want to make a glass nebula under tree those are kind of the three that i have so far and I, i'm talking like we're gonna go like oranges and yellows and probably in there then work out to some greens and then fade to like blues and it's probably gonna like the goal would be to have it go outside the ring so it's just like a big zoom and we'll add some like glow lichen in there for lighting and things i think it could be really cool floating crystal thingies i don't I feel like if we can we can accomplish that same vibe with these rune stone ideas I have I'm gonna use like end rods to make like the framing for the the letters and everything uh I like the tree but I imagine the end rods make it kind of like laggy and bitrate dies a bit it's not too bad it's a little rough if I turn on shaders on stream but outside of that it's not it's not terrible but one of the things that can maybe make more magical is add a few purple blocks yeah i'm thinking like the rune stones are going to be kind of that we'll be able to get that vibe out there at a glass safety platform that looks like a nebula yeah that's the idea is that the glass would be like covering everything going all the way out i kind of want to have like ripples the ripples are gonna be in like multiple layers so like to the top layer is probably gonna be a lot of the light blue and the like fading out to like a cyan and then underneath that will be like the yellows and greens and stuff in the middle um and then that'll slowly dither and transition back into the light blue oh no an ad oh no oh no supporting your creator oh no they can't read they can't hear me anyway so it's fine okay um so those are kind of in there and then i feel like that's that's kind of a good way to go um that's kind of all I have for the end right now. We'll we'll add some. We'll add an extra page or two for the end island. I want to keep this project book like on me as we're going, uh, just so we can be like, oh, let's do these things. I don't know. Why not? Let's go work on that today. YouTube pre premium gang. Hey, I'm about that life too. I get it. For everybody who's complaining about the ads, um. Uh, I do apologize, but it is how I can do this as a full-time job. So, uh, sorry, not sorry, I guess. I really like this back here. I think it's fun, but, uh, I, I also want to repurpose the egg. I want to use, I want to put the egg somewhere else. I don't like that. I just brought it back here. I think it's kind of dumb. So we're going to, we're going to find a different way to put, use it somewhere else. Okay. Uh, I guess next zone we can talk about world spawn maybe well yeah world spawn i need to actually yeah we're just gonna treat world spawn as like this whole zone world spawn like the whole area outside the city like we're specifically talking about that cover moss farm yes <laughs> that definitely needs to be covered um ooh, another one update iron farm storage it is look yeah look, i just i have to show you it's so bad all blocks all blocks a lot of blocks oh everything's full and it's we now have that much bone meal out of how many poppies have come through here before it just and a full barrel of poppies yeah definitely um we i want to continue on the custom tree idea so we'll write that down for sure i really loved what we started here before we went off to the desert so that's definitely something i want to continue with more fields i like where you're thinking um custom 
trees around zone. Yeah, we'll do that. And then, oh, 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 the underwater river network that we've talked about. Underground river network. Uh, for those who don't know, this is an old project idea from a long time ago that we're talking about of, we have this pond here, we have this pond over here, and they kind of have this like natural, just like flat face in there. And I think, and then that also comes over to here. And I think there's a, if I remember correctly, there's like an aquifer under here somewhere that we can actually build into. So we can have like, the goal is do, 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 kind of from this point under here where it goes underground, we would then open that terrain up and build like a cave that would connect over to there. And then we would also take that connection over to here. So you can go between all of them based off of boat. And I think that could be really cool. Will the video be soon? There should be a video tomorrow as long as we can get the editing done, so. In the end, you can make your Minecraft world as a small cube planet with the moon in the, in the distance. That'd be kind of fun to build like a small planet off in the distance. I feel like planets are like so overdone on YouTube though. Link caves to villager cave. The villager cave, we'd have to like go through there. And then the villager cave is over. here Ooh, oh so close yeah so it's much much lower down like water level is what 62 and we're already down at what's the water what's the water level in here uh we're down at 22 so we're, we're 40 blocks underneath where the water would come in at so i don't know if we could connect that too well but i like the idea now this place this place we haven't done anything in in a very long time Besides, I added the fisherman, and I don't really, I don't know if I want to add any more villager types in here. I'll be honest. Like, we added the fisherman. We got a cool little coral reef. Look at the fishies. Uh, these guys are in here purely for campfires. I don't have any leather workers, though, right? So I guess if we needed leather workers, they could go in that building, because we never did anything with that. Oh, I know what we need to do. Uh, super smelter, storage room. That needs to, the entire storage for the super smelter goes into that double chest. I need to like extend this up and just like stack a bunch of items on there. Let's do that. Uh, super, super smelter storage room in cave. Make sure it's consistent. Giant chandelier. Be real. Bye with I GTG yeah. lover vid see ya. Hey, Ty, thank you so much for the donut. I appreciate that. You have a good one, all right? Thank you so much for stopping by today and hanging. You have a good one. Also, I missed these somehow. Uh, Keegan, thank you so much for becoming a Tier 2 member. I really do appreciate that. And uh, Maro, thank you so much for becoming a Tier 1 member. I really appreciate the support today, folks. Thank you very much. If you have not already, leave a like on the stream. We're almost, at, we're almost to 1,000. I believe we can do it um one thing that we could do i kind of already have the other connection but this is this actually gets back to the string farm they're pretty close together so we could connect the, i had a goal of like expanding the dwarven cave down here so i think that might be a future build if we want to do more but i'm also i'm kind of at the point where i'm like i want to do more around the world um instead of just like in the different places I have. I want to build up the world a lot more. I can't get in there because of glass, but there's the spider farm. That's actually functional now. Pretty cool. Pretty proud of myself. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else do we want to do in here? Also, is this interesting for y'all? I think we're going to sit. After workout, my legs are tired. <laughs> We've ah, it's 40 minutes of standing. Good for me. Ready. You do Taco Friday? Taco Tuesday, my dude. Also, I've been very much craving a burrito, so we might go get tacos and burritos tonight. Love the stream. I, I know I do a lot of, like, 
we we're doing a lot of building and just i always come with like a plan i was like today could be kind of fun just to run around and do whatever we're gonna we're gonna make it up as we go today and yes fine because i know y'all will unsubscribe if i don't do it fix villager cave and trance oh uh i wish it stayed on the page man um detail map room just dropped like 800 bucks on my boyfriend's textbooks i do not miss buying textbooks oh my gosh <laughs> ouch well now you can be like you better get that homework done you or you can give me the money back <laughs> yeah this is we have the original world maps in here but i never finished the floor or the ceiling so we have the episode three right there where we have starter house and mine and the tree chopping zone Ooh, that's a project idea. Oh, no. Tree shopping zone. We need to definitely get one of those. Uh, then we went to here. This was episode 12 where the castle came in with the road connecting. We brought in all of that coming through. And then there's a lot more buildings in here. And this kind of was like where we had the first auto farms coming. Oh, and we have the we have the town. I'd love to update that town some more. I feel like I kind of built it and I haven't touched it since. Are you planning on building a mega base? Uh, does this not count as a mega bit? Oh. And then 15. 15? Let's see. Yeah, that was episode 12. Episode 15 went big. Like, that's where the world tree came in. Uh, there was a lot more fields popping in. The iron farm's in here. The cactus farm. Episode 25, a little bit later. Jungle village slash tree house city. I think that'd be cool. I want to do that. New one uh, yeah, I want to. I want to wait to do that for when 1.20.2 drops, if it comes with the villager changes, because I think that could be really fun. Because we're already kind of tackling the desert, so we can add a desert library somewhere. Um. Yeah. All right, Walter. You're right. You're right. You're right. Thank you. Also, fallen feathers. Thank you so much for the donut. I appreciate that. Uh, world. Wordle spawn. Sugar cane. Uh, building interior <laughs> there's the raid farm there's the start of the mountain oh yeah that was the obelisk and then we have the custom birch forest in here already but that's where it stops nice so nothing to meet you. i always love looking at this stuff i, I hope y'all enjoy looking at the maps um because i think it's fun oh we had the quarry in here too <laughs> this is when i filled the quarry with bamboo i didn't even realize that was on the map oh that makes me so happy <laughs> If anybody remembers, I needed a place to get a bunch of bamboo, and I decided to just fill the entire quarry with it. <laughs> Finish backside of mountain. Finish backside of mountain. It's on the list. Yeah, so we have it going off this way right now, and eventually once we get down there far enough, um, I think we'll go to a third here, and then we'll start going that way. And then finally we'll go this way and then i think from there it means we'll start a new map room because that'll be so many item frames uh 25 then became 32 where the city did was the city in 25 finish the city oh yeah it's a good one okay so the city was in 25. um main city gate terrain that's outside the city so that does count for the world spawn zone uh yeah over here then we have so many so many more fields have popped up the lumber mills in now um we have the wheat farm storage area that little village is in what else oh yeah all the terraforming up here got finished off which i love and then that also means the village is over there um yeah here's where we expanded to then include the village so you can see everything that we've done in here we got the industrial district we got the town in there this is episode 37 and then that's our the latest one of 40 and now we're i'm working on episode 43. um are you planning on doing a world tour at episode 50. world tours are on my second channel i don't do them on main channel uh so if you'd like to check them out you can go over there uh yeah so we have the nether tree farms so we got all the flower farms and that village built out which is looking so fun 
Um, I would love to do more out there. That could be fun. We got to I want to turn this area into something. I think we need a few houses and things out here and then just more, more fields. Um, we got the Mudbrook Castle on here too. That, that needs to be fixed. Um, gravel, beach across Mudbrook Castle. That definitely needs some love. This is actually a good way to pick projects. This is a good way to do it. Because Wild Spawn gets fixed up later. That's where we were chopping trees forever. Um, I don't, I just like keep building over my tree chopping zones. That road just kind of dithers off for now. It doesn't really go anywhere. Um, ooh, 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 Pillager outpost transformation. That could be kind of a fun little video because um, we can transform that dude. It's been there forever. What about a pine forest? We got the birch forest there. This kind of the zone that we've seen in those trees. I want to bring more pine tree vibes in, but I don't know how much. Then we have episode 40 here. That is sniffer farm in there. Big on that. And then that also includes the latest city expansion. And we have the armory in there. And this one's where the latest world download comes out for all the members. Um, and yeah, so the new stuff we've done branching off that way won't show. I'm not expanding this map any further. I want to just be like this region and we'll, we'll add a little desert map room area over in the desert once we got that place built out. But I don't think I'm going to do like a before and after map. How did building a thing, a field in every video become a thing again? I just love building fields and I think it's a fun way to like add something to the world that like over a while like doing a video where i do farmland across this entire region too. in one video i would hate but if i do a little bit i it's like 20 30 minutes every video and i just add a new field and for me it's so rewarding to see how expansive all the farmland is so i i just re i really like the look of farmland in minecraft and i thought it was a way that i could keep doing more for myself and um there's my little secret exit but it was a way that I was like, we can just keep adding more stuff. We can just keep expanding and doing more things throughout the world. And it gives us some good ways to do things. But yeah, so up the mountain here is going to be a little bit of a pine forest coming up. And I really want to transform these mountains. That's like a massive project. Uh, transform mountains around city. That's a big boy project. So there's two world spawn tiles filled in, pages filled in. Um... I also want to do more up there. This I planted this field so many episodes ago, and it just has never grown. So we're going to go chill by it for a sec. Give us some time. More flying decoration. Maybe we could do a plane like the Wright Brothers one. That's a little too modern for me. This is very much medieval fantasy world. I I will say the world that I'm existing in. Uh, well, first, Paya, thank you so much for becoming a supporter. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Walter White, I think I, I think I, I read your comment, but thank you again for being a member. I really appreciate that for the five months. Um, the fantasy vibes that I'm living in is World of Warcraft fantasy. So a lot of things like planes are possible, but I want to tie that to like a civilization that's technologically advanced. Like the only reason planes exist in World of Warcraft is because the goblins and the gnomes were able to build them. So if we want to do that hey, type of stuff, we need to tree and bush create um, do azalea tree and bush grove as a field. Yeah, that could be cool. Celestia, thank you so much for doing That's a good idea. Um, hot air balloon. We have a few. Like, we have that one. That's a mythical sausage design because he died in his hardcore world. So we put one up there for him. Um, I don't want to do, like, a full sky city. I hate floating builds in Minecraft. You'll never see me build a giant floating build in Minecraft. Um... Oh, 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 I got one. We're going to have world spawn four pages, probably. Uh, red mushroom farm tree. Red mushroom tree farm zone. So we got the brown mushroom tree farm over. Oh, and actually, I also need to fix the brown mushroom tree farm. Fix brown mushroom. I need to make the spacing one larger. Then it'll be a lot more efficient. Um, but 
yeah so if we eventually move into like designing like a new civilization maybe we can have one that's a little bit more steampunky and techy i kind of thought about doing that in the desert where we are now but then i was like ah, i kind of want to do like the full true send to like what papyrus is for me which is very much just like a ancient like egyptian styled place with like my version of it um you want to grow <laughs> it grew you want to grow anybody any growing want to happen down here i would love to come out here to the mudbrook castle and do some more work so we can say um houses around mud brick castle Ooh, another one expand river to ocean which is over here so this river is massive right like this is where nice to meet you. in the lore that we have of the world all the ships are able to come in and trade with the town down there the only problem is the river gets a little tight <laughs> it's a wee bit small nice right through you. here but then if you get through that point and all we would need to do, I've already cut it open a few times here, but all we really need to do, like, if we were to bring it back, we'll do a little bit more than this later, but just for, like, a rough idea, if we were to literally just extend it over to here and make it, like, this wide. Ooh. Ah, that could have been bad. If we extend it all the way through here. This could be a good way to... Make it more realistic for boats to get through, and then we can actually build a large boat in the area. I think it'd be fun. Time for fun with TNT to expand. Exactly. It could, it could be a good way to do it. it. Could be a good way to do it. Melissa, thank you so much for the five months. I really appreciate it. Woke up early and finally managed to catch a stream. Hey, welcome on in. Good to have you. Also, May, thank you so much for the four months. I'm having one of those days. Hopped in the stream and literally felt the stress leave my body. Hey. Happy you feel like you can hang out and relax here good to hear good to hear we're just walking around building a to-do list today <laughs> and then we're gonna tackle a few things we're gonna see what we can get done i really want to get that another hub done that's been bugging me for a while i really want to do it a bit louder than your voice now uh it's the same volume i normally have it i always have it up to 54. Let me turn it down in OBS. That could be it. I'll turn I'll turn the game sounds down. Because that's the level that I like it. But I'll turn it down for y'all. Turn the gravel spot into a dead forest. See, I kind of want to do like another little fishing village. I know it's kind of stupid to have these villages everywhere. But also, the way I see it is that the city we're building is like the capital you. city of the entire whatever this nation might be just for lack of a better term and so like we have a castle here literally to defend the river to stop any weird like ships from getting in we have all of the connections throughout here we have this big old town over there and i feel like this peninsula here because it's at this cool crossroads of the river if we were to take those small islands out we could turn this into into like a little fishing village or maybe like a shipyard that can be really cool. I, I like the shipyard idea. That's a fun one. But I just feel like having so much life and so many, so many sources of a population around here is a really cool way to just totally emphasize the city up there being just like this full capital city region of everywhere that there is space. Like people have filled in to live and just be close to the city because it's like this really cool. Yeah it's it's it is the capital <laughs> it's it's the capital of the world whatever that means the world mushroom tree forest I, I would love to do some custom mushroom trees but i don't know if i want to do a full forest that could be something like farther away from here when we get into like more of a a different fantasy race or something that we're building up like a society for that could be fun what else do we have? What else do we have? Will you build something like a slum? A lot of people have wanted to see that. I've got a rough idea for one. I'm not even going to put it on the project list because I we know. We know the project list. We know the project list has the tree. So I'm not even going to put it on there. But remember, we did come through a while ago and stringed the entire top of the tree to get rid of all the snow. So there is that. We have made progress. 
Uh, but a lot of people want to see a slums in this region. So I think like from here, if we were to draw a line like that, like half of it will be a little slums zone because we're going to have buildings on this side. So it's going to be a little bit tighter on the river. And maybe it'll be just somewhere where they just like threw some houses. I'm planning a bridge going over there. So it'll be a little bit removed from the bridge. And then they can kind of have this section. It's uh, This section is either, I'm deciding between either being a slums or it's going to be like a really fancy manor house. I haven't decided which one. Make star villagers. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Star villager airship. You can we can move him into an airship. Fishing village. Yeah, that's I think we're gonna do over that a little like stone shore. It's so weird seeing all the string up here. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's fine. Voucher slums. I think a slums would add more like contrast to the zone, but I also have talked about a few times of like building a utopia. Okay, uh, another one. This is another one we're gonna do today. Uh, update, lumber, mill, auto, sorters. Pixarifs put out a video recently on auto sorting, if you haven't seen it. But I think, uh, in his Minecraft survival guide, if you want to learn more about Minecraft, my tip for today is go watch Pixarifs. He's a lovely dude uh, when his internet comes back. Uh, if you didn't hear, he uh, was trimming his hedges in his backyard and cut through his internet line to his house so uh he's offline again uh <laughs> but he put out a video on it and i was listening to it just in the background i was like i i like to listen to his videos to be like maybe i'll learn something and usually every video i'm like i learned something and i think he showed me how we can fix that so we're good i i think i think we can fix the lumber mill auto sorter and then we can start using it again which would be great poor dude can't get a break hey at least he can record because he plays single player until his thing comes until his internet's fixed so he's set there like he can keep recording and then uh once he has internet back he can just start uploading so we're not build a big japanese temple wouldn't really fit the vibe that we have out here i my world is very themed and i don't like putting just random builds next to each other Um, it's today about ideas, and if so, then a cool idea would be add cherry blossoms to the giant tree. So if I could get the cherry blossom leaves petals to work when I'm down on the ground, I would do that a hundred percent. But if we fly over to this little cherry tree, oh, so many people are like, cherry blossom trees don't actually produce fruit. I'm like, yeah, it's Minecraft. Let me build a little orchard of cherry blossom trees if I want to. But you can see here, there's no petals. Oh, okay, there's petals on that one. There's no petals. There's petals. To get petals off of cherry blossom leaves, and I have particles turned all the way up, you have to be so dang close to the stupid trees. Once you are close though, the, pet the particles and petals, the petal particles, the little petal particles, uh, they will float on forever, like hundreds of blocks away. But for you to see that, you have to be like within like 20 blocks of the leaf for it to start producing particles, which I get why the pink petal particles don't work from a few hundred blocks away because then it would lag your entire game anytime you had pink petal particles with your pink cherry blossom leaf trees of the pink petal particles. Um, but... Like, like that looks so cool. I would love to have that. Like that's so serene being through here, but you can't have it. Like if we would never see them from up there. So I think that with just the green canopy will look better. <laughs> it's like, ah, pink petal particles. The perfect pink petal particle. Possible, I would need to resemble a weeping willow, but then it would be called a cherry tree. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I was like, you know what would be fun here? If we just make, we use the cherry blossom leaves that we have. <laughs> They're new in the game. Let's do some more stuff with them. Also, this type of tree here, I would love to build more of them. We have this one here. And then I think we have a second one up there. And I would love to make more. That That's kind of fun. But we have all these little farmsteads where there's like a house there, house there. And then they have their granary, grain silo. And like this one, we got interiors on these. They're cute. Are going to expand to the jungle near the desert village? If so, a volcano build would be really cool. Um, 
I don't know if I want to expand into that desert. I'm assuming you mean the jungle up on the hill. I don't know what I want to do there yet, but I think once the villager update comes in and jungle villagers are worth making, worth bringing into the world, uh, then we can do that. Yeah, this terrain, whoever called that out, you're right. That has been there for a long time. Hopefully video coming out tomorrow. That's the goal. So we will see. I haven't checked in with Marcos yet today, but I know he's working on it. I uh, gave it. I got all the footage to him last night at like, I think I uploaded the last bit at like 9 p.m. So uh, <laughs> I can't make that jump. It's a little too high. <laughs> no, it took a it took a little bit longer to get it recorded than I was thinking, but I, I, I really like the idea behind the video. No vote for the stream. I just didn't think of something funny today. Today is very much a chill day. Oh, the fishing shack. Fishing with Flip is coming back soon because I need Nautilus shells and I need something interesting to do while we fish. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have fishing with Flip videos coming back because I need to talk about things while I fish. Otherwise, I can't fish. I also need to make a drown farm, but you know. Meh. Meh. Okay, uh, let's go in here. We can add another world spawn. That'll give we have three for world spawn. Let's go world spawn boop and world spawn boop. And that'll give us the two there. So close to a thousand likes. <gasps> We're two away. Okay, in here we have a lot of love that needs to happen. And not between you two, but you two do need to be moved. Okay. City. Let's go all the way. Bup, 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 bup. Capital city. Upper wagon storage interior. Crocodile alligator. We still need to come back here. I never did this one. I want to make sure there's eventually there's going to be a first floor in every single building. This is a I think this was the Warriors Guild. No, the Adventurer's Guild. This is the Adventurer's Guild interior. And then the library interior. Okay. This is going to be a lot of interiors. Adventurer's Guild interior. Library interior. Uh, we're going to go, yeah. Upper library interior. uh probably that that probably needs to be fixed looks yeah cliff max two city hall yep there's that cool uh this one we have done in the video where I spent 100 days building interiors. That was the most strenuous video I've ever done, but we got this. And the way that I'm doing these, for everybody who has missed it, is I'm doing them as if we're building an RPG. So the entire upper floor will be somewhere that's only accessible by the people running the store. So as a player, we would not be able to go up there. So I'm not doing them. That's, that's how it's going to work, because otherwise I will never do all of them. Maybe if we do everything and we need more projects, we can come back and do it. But we got like a little tiny room. I could probably do some more in there, but we'll leave it. That's fine. You plan on doing more shorts? I kind of want to, but I am also worried about shorts. Oh. Yeah, that's that's part of that. I Shorts are something that like I would love to do and have more time to create and everything. Maybe I just need to repurpose existing content into shorts, but I don't know. I don't have fun making them, but I also know that they're good to make. So it's kind of a conundrum. Shorts very much feel like work. They're not the style of content I want to make. And I feel like I'm very much like making things up and like forcing it to happen instead of it just being a natural video idea I have. Uh, da, 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 upper uh, carpenter's workshop interior. 
back here i don't know why i used mangrove roots there but we did uh, here we have the stables these are done we have all of the writable mobs from the overworld in here i think there should be skeleton horses and pigs yes perfect you're all here all my other skeleton horses uh i i don't know where they went <laughs> i think they're gone i think they died are you gonna have a base of operations so you don't have to go back to the mountain house i kind of like coming back here because i now they have the nether setup it's not that bad uh so i don't mind the journey and it's i like being i like experiencing my world and i know it causes more you're forgetting about the camel i built that before the camel so i guess we do need to bring a camel I don't really have space for a camel in there. But we can do it. He'll get loose somehow and just kill himself in the city, I'm sure. We built this blacksmith, so that's looking pretty good. Um, the carpenter, we probably won't do the upstairs. Yeah, we will because it's accessible. Carpenter upstairs. There's interior. Okay. Over here, this is supposed to be a bakery. And I really want to do the interior for that. So we're going to add that on. This is honestly a good list. Upper bakery interior. I'm trying to put upper and lower or whatever. So that I have reason to go back and like revisit the places and also and also like it's a massive city there's not only gonna be one baker so i'm gonna build other bakeries uh that should be everything up here we're not even gonna put the project list of like let's extend it all the way down there oh geez hello boys okay the brigands are in the city there's the original bow. There's Flipflash. I decided to retire it there. I still don't have... I'd never named the new bow. I, I meant to do that. And I kind of forgot. Uh, I think everything in here is completed. I think... Yeah. I think it is. We're going to do a quick run through. Do you think you make it so map show the real colors of the crop? Every cup is the same green on your map? Uh, you can't do that. As far as I'm aware, it's basically a world tour. Yeah, more or less. People keep asking for one, so... Yeah, everything in there is good. I know my interiors are a little basic, but I don't really mind. It's not a skill that I really have super heavily yet. That goes back to the garden. This just goes up. Your stream delay on. Uh, It's on normal or, like, low. that we got this is the bedroom i remember saying i created this for me and then i and then this is my office and i literally have yet to step back in here cool Put a PC in the office. Yeah, exactly. The garden back here is all set, so that's good. And then... We're going to run on down here. Are you going to deal with the shulker monster outside of your house? Yeah, that's, that's an off thing. Do you build differently off camera, like laying out wise? I do a lot of creative planning before I build off camera or anything like that. So I kind of just rock there. Are you not a fan of the pink wood? There's a pink horse right there. I use it sparingly. I don't have a whole lot of ideas for it. You just fan the bridge pillars on the castle from episode three. Yeah, I've thought about it. I don't really know how I'd do it. I guess we could add some walls, but that would be about it. But we don't, it, it, didn't I make it out of tough? Yeah, so we'd have to use like stone brick walls or mossy cobble walls, which would create a very different vibe for it. So I don't know. It, it is a little top heavy. I'll, I'll admit that. Uh... Uh... Sniffer... 
Valley farmhouse. We can do something in there. What about beacon flex on the bridge? Oh, up there on the bridge? Yeah, we could change those lanterns for beacons. That could be kind of fun. I like that. We can do it. Change lanterns to beacons on Free Castle Bridge. So that'd be what? Six beacons, I think? No. Ten beacons. We're not going to change those. Like, those won't be beacons. But up there on the top, we can do that as beacons. You expand the bridge pillars on Castle. I, I think they're okay. I think, if anything, we would bring this up more and make the arch grander. But I, I don't know. I know it looks a little off, but I also think it kind of, it works for the vibe enough. <laughs> but it should be good. So we're just giving them a ton of fun ideas, bonus world. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, today we're running around to get started and just like looking at a bunch of different build ideas and projects and things. Then we're just going to kind of see where it goes. This down here, I feel like the quarry I like. There's not too much I want to change in here. It's got the whole purpose coming up here. And then inside is just big old storage room. That's all this is. And I don't plan to auto sort this. That's not going to happen. There's actually no way to auto sort that. But over here. Industrial district. Gate. Grass. Not gas. Grass area. Have you thought about a snowy winter area after the two main projects? I don't enjoy building in the snow in Minecraft, I'll be honest. Um, also, I put this here as a fun Easter egg. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think anybody caught it in the video. I didn't see any comments on it. Um, and then I... I don't know why I did Mary's mechanics, but yeah, this is a this is a mechanic shop. But there's no entrance. There's no door to get in there. It's just this. So we're just gonna kinda leave that as is. But we can have Mifflin Meats interior. Sausage would be happy. Oh. Uh covered market details add some rocks and demolish pillars to add more detail I yeah it can you can do that to add age but um, mangrove mangrove mansion interior uh, mangrove farm entrance and mansion interior this this was meant to be a door to get in to be able to access i don't have an electron uh the mangrove tree farm down there and then i just never did it but we're gonna have like a staircase probably or it'll probably just be a ladder that goes down there or a drop shoot or something to make it quicker um I haven't had a thunderstorm in this world in so long. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. lower. Uh, industrial street details. I kind of call this whole place the industrial district of the city. We have our beautiful statue. Look at him. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Could have been a great shaders test. Yeah. It's fine. Back here, I like. I like it being a little bit more open. This... This little grassy space, I have no ideas for. If any of you can think of what we can put in here, I don't want to do a tree. But maybe a tree is the only option we have. I thought it'd be big enough to put a building in, but I just don't think it is. 
we could do like a covered work area like that and create like an outdoor work zone a small field we already kind of have a field right here for a back garden dock boat boat dock this is a uh, this is not something a boat could go on you can see it dropping down in y level there bushes Venus watermill thing watermill thing right there watermill thing on the other side entrance so entrance to a cave we actually have the cave right back in here that I wanted to build out into like a little mini storage and I just kind of never did bit of culture tiny hut industrial monument statue a statue back here could be kind of fun gardening shed watermill outdoor cafe we don't really have a place for a cafe itself to be here stable for horse carts Ooh, I do like a stable I feel like that fits the industrial area no we have a stable right up above access to the top well that's right over here for the road shrine or fountain I feel like a fountain right now I, I like the shrine or a statue but we have a stables right here so we don't really need that and we actually have cart storage right up here that I need to build a wagon cart in okay uh let's go uh green statue next to watermill let's do that let's do a statue large platform elevator to come up here I we don't really need it because we have the road right over there up in once you're inside this space I love it I think in here is a really cool atmosphere and I kind of love the outside being bland showing it's very much the industrial space so they've just kind of a lot of the trees up here aren't grown super well and or maybe got chopped down so I kind of like it being a little bit more on the open side but maybe we could add in something up here schoolhouse a little small space for a schoolhouse um I want this space over here it's mostly just pathways and I really want it to feel more like inhabited so maybe we could do like a little like no 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 that that'd be kind of maybe would it I don't know do you think like a little like monolith type thing like sticking up right here would be stupid like on this corner we just take kind of, we could honestly take like these four blocks I don't know maybe do it would look cool okay we'll write that down monolith next to brick factory stables at road corner cool an auction house an auction house would be cool or just write that down as a general idea every RPG city needs an auction house um I don't think we're gonna be able to fit a building back here because that is very steep but we can fit a building on this corner and that could kind of help with I think where I'm missing we had chopped this back and extend it out a touch and we could put like a building with like a crane um yeah let's do that building plus crane next to kelp farm at end of road and then we also need a crane at end of dock which is right there I've been meaning to build a crane I finally leveled it off and got dirt in here uh but I've been meaning to build a crane right here for so long just like looking out over this and I think we go with a I have this design this and I'm thinking I just I kind of want to just reuse it do I have a stick I do have a stick uh did it 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 did oh no I don't know if it fits or not oh I 
I could, ooh, I do like that. I love this grain. I, I came up with it a long time ago and I've used it so many places. Like that right there could be really cool. I think I've used this in every series I've done, single player series, since I designed this thing and building with foot back in the day. It's called Light Matica. Yeah, so we could put that there. That'd be kind of cool. This section is city expansion needed and everything like that. Ooh, and then detailing along the river. No, I'm going to wait for that because I want to figure out where that city expansion is going to go. Uh, what's this called? The armory? Wait, I'm doing it with an A or an L. I don't know. Grass area next to armory. This needs to be done with something. Like, I think we can squeeze like a triangle shaped building in here would be pretty good. Crane needs to be loading a barge. Yeah, well, the idea is, I mean, eventually we're going to turn this. Like, we cleared out on stream last time or last week or something. This land used to come out to here. So we cleared out and opened this up a bunch. We're going to be opening this place up a lot more. And we'll get a lot of boats in there. Then eventually we'll figure out how to connect them to the ocean. But that is a huge project. Also, Raphael, I think I missed this a while ago. And Marma and Jacob, I'm so sorry. I have not been paying attention to alerts today. Thank you, all three of you, so very much for the support. I really do appreciate it if you're still in here. If not, I apologize for missing it. And uh, maybe you'll see it in the replay. Build a boatyard and maybe a water dam for a little bit of decoration in the mountains. Yeah, we'll get to that stuff soon. I'm trying to think of just projects that we can do for like the area that we have is mostly what I'm trying to gear the project list towards. Are you taking a break from desert building today? No, I finished the video and so I just didn't want to go over there and spoil everything because it looks really cool and I want y'all to see it when it comes out. Okay, so step one here, I need to clear this junk out of my inventory so we have to fly back to exactly where we just were because that's where the dirt storage goes. Any plans to make any guilds for the different areas of your world? Uh, I want to make Ithuriel. guilds within the city. Best company while I terraform my swamp. Hey, Dean. Charlotte, thank you so much for the dono and good luck. Good luck on that. <laughs> um, like I was talking earlier about an adventurer's guild. I know the supporter server has always had a very big road builders guild. So I kind of want to build a, the road builders guild inside of here in this world too, just kind of as like a throwback to the patreon supporter community that's been so cool for so long so i want to build a road builders guild somewhere in the city it'll probably be more down in the industrial area and we'll give space for wagons and things outside of it um so we'll do that and then um i'll probably add some more but i i don't really want to add like mages guild fighters guild blah blah, blah. i want to add some more fun stuff there's a world map guild on the supporter server too. Yeah, we could have a car cartographer's guild. What am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for the, where's my kelp? We need kelp. Actually, I should only need two. So I found out why, um, you probably have heard me talk about it many, many times before that this lumber mill storage does not work. And I finally found out why. Because Pixarif's video. And I feel dumb. So we're gonna need, well, we don't have many of each. Hopefully that they are stored up there and that we can get them. Yuki, thank you so much for the six months. Ow, I meant to make it over to there. Finally got a place to live after four months. Thanks for all the great streams and they've been a huge comfort. Hey, congratulations. Hope you enjoy it. Ah, so back here, I was doing these and that, and you can see in there, 
it was starting to eventually drain these. But what I did though is the problem was nice to meet you. I'm trying to think where it's gonna be affected. Looks like it's not. Yeah, because those aren't going, that's not being drained, and that's going. Maybe I already fixed this. Did I already do it? It looks like I did. Yeah, so the problem I was running into here is that I originally put a bunch of kelp. So I was doing like, you could do a way where you put 11 kelp next to each other. And then this only has to be one item. And so I did that, not thinking about the consequence. And what Pix mentioned in his video was that if you do that, it'll bring the power up enough to where this redstone and that redstone can be triggered, which then would be activating both of these funnels over here incorrectly and then draining everything. And then over time, it'll just break your filters. So I looks like I finally got that fixed, which is great. So we're gonna try to make sure it's super fixed. This right here should work to send things up. Nope. This, yep, this is the empty shulker's barrel. Okay, yeah, so that's sending them up. Ignore the trapdoor flippy. Just ignore the trapdoor flippy. It's a feature. It's a feature. It's a feature. That is calculating there, and that's staying in. Okay, I think that actually fixed it. We're going to send a bunch of different types through. See what happens. We'll just send all the logs through that we just got and hope that they uh, end up in the right places. So there's a there's an item elevator back there that's sending the items up to the top. And then anything overflow should be auto appearing in these barrels. But all that stuff should be appearing back in here. All right, we know Flippy. Did I break it? Did it break? Yeah, the, the trap door is the lumberman. <laughs> Thank you, working. Ah, there's the other one flipping. You're still working. You're working. You're working. Now the middle one's flipping. Okay, so now we're seeing them all come through. That's good. It looks like everything. Yeah. Oh, it's working. Wow, I already fixed a while ago. Gosh, this has been giving me so much stress because I thought I had broken it and just hadn't fixed it. I was so happy. And that should all be ending up in here. It is. I have such a weird way for the hoppers to run because I need to get them farther back. So they actually come down here and then they go back and it's the least efficient way to do hoppers ever. And then it brings it in there. But yeah, we're definitely out of birch and we're out of jungle. So I need to fix that soon. Yeah, the trapdoor gods require to sacrifice. That's fine. Yeah, they'll figure it out. So that's still going. Has anything ended up weirdly in here? No. Perfect. The only things I'm not auto sorting is bamboo and uh, cherry logs. Because I figured I could. Ah, that one's flipping now. Oh, no. <laughs> that's so funny. I didn't even think about that. The sailmaker next to the docks. I do like that as an idea. That's a good idea. I've kind of got those like running around in my head for when we get there. Okie dokie. I thought that was going to be way more strenuous to fix than it was. Turns out I already fixed it. Warped a trap a doors. Let's go put the kelp me I'm trapped kelp back. This is my filter kelp. We can fly down into the nether and throw in some trapdoors. Okay, this should be relatively easy, just a little time consuming. If I want to run along here and just fill in trapdoors like this. because it looks so much better. Just having that little bump out is so much better. 
Also, I wanted to bring these out and do like rings around the farms, but that's that's a future problem that I don't know the answer to quite yet. Why don't you remove the kitchen island in your starter house for more storage? We go for vibes, so don't go for efficiency. Don't be silly. <laughs> Hence the reason we still have frogs sitting on the nether roof. And a random lodestone right there. I still have that lodestone compass in my under chest. In case I ever get lost in the nether, I know how to get home because I got a compass. What about a wrecked wagon on its side and contents spilled out on an empty roadway space? I feel like in the city, probably no, because that would be something that would get cleaned up because it'd be stopping so much of the life and things happening in the city. But somewhere along like a random country road, I do love doing that. You might remember in Empire Season 1, on the way to Gems Base, we built a uh, little wagon that was transporting pumpkins and tipped it over on its side and put some pillager banners around it. But I, I do that type of stuff pretty often. It's so funny. If anybody was like used to be in the Conquest community back in the day, there was like a, a distinct era that lasted for like six months where people, if you were on one of the servers that like did like you could level up and like get higher ranks based off of like a build plot or whatever, there is a very distinct era where if people would be like, you need more life in your build. There's not enough life in here. And you'd be like, what should I add? And they would just be like, you need to add in a tipped over card on your road. <laughs> All right, it was like, there's a distinct pass fail era with some of the moderators on a few of the servers I was on. It was like, you would pass if you had a tipped over cart somewhere on your build. And if the rest of the build was great, you would you you needed that to still pass. If you didn't have that, they would fail you. And then if you added that alone, they'd be like, yeah, no, so much life. Wow, this is amazing. And I just, uh, I still want to get a bunch of creeper skulls one time and make a cabbage cart. I think if you turn creeper skulls around, you can make them look like little cabbages. definitely still something I want to do this gold farm I always kind of forget how big it is until I get close to it I'm like whoa I really built all that yeah I want to start messing around with charge creepers soon which I know is like very much like recipe for disaster but I think mob skulls especially now that they mob heads now that they added the ability to make sounds with them. I think they're just so much better. I don't know. One day. How many days you're on? Like 4,700 something. What are we doing right now? Uh, we're adding some trap doors to the edge of the nether ice boat roads. Because today is the day of fixing and updating old builds. We've went through the we went through and made foot project list and just added so many pages of different things out here. And uh it's it's getting there. We're this is we're crossing one off the list. Actually we can already cross one off the list. Where is it? Where is it? World spawn. Uh, no, where is it? Update lumber mill auto sorter. Can't you do like what? Control period? No. Windows period? Aha! We can add emojis. What emoji should we use to mark this off as completed? You can add emojis to Minecraft stuff now turtle we can use a turtle once there's a turtle it means the project's done a check mark don't be silly that's too easy no we're adding a turtle because these have been sitting around forever and the turtle finally finished finally finished the race <laughs> Oh, 
now though uh if you're on windows 11 and you hold the windows key and press period you'll get an emoji menu or i think it works on windows 10 too but then you can use minecraft updated it to where you can now type you can use that to bring the emojis into minecraft and it turns them into like a minecraft text language make a tailor shop we already got one we could probably have a second though because it's a really big city and it does make sense to have more than one we made it back that's the longest stretch by far but look how much better that looks just having that on there i know it's still really it's still really repetitive i get that it's still very repetitive but i think it looks a little bit better large bombs versus normal size for building a heavy building world if you're doing a heavy building world and you're like you don't care about going on the journey to get the blocks or whatever large biomes will give you so many more options of places to build i also think that the new way they do minecraft the the new minecraft <laughs> um they do a really good job with balancing biomes i know a lot of people are very unhappy with it and it's become very evident about people being annoyed at how biome generation works now we might we might need some more with like being like the closest desert to my base is like blah 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 thousands of blocks away didn't matter before but now that i need a desert villager to get this enchant for off a librarian it's gonna suck um but i also love that i think that's not having like a desert biome that's like very tiny right next to a savanna that's right next to an oak forest it's right next to a mountains like i i did not like the old world gen so i really like the new one so i think if you go on normal size biomes you can still find a lot of really cool places to build like the world i have normal biomes granted the desert the closest desert's like two thousand blocks away uh closest mesa is like three thousand five hundred but i also spent the time researching to have a good seed for it so i didn't just start this world willy-nilly I just was like, I was like, all right, what do I want? What biomes do I want near spawn? Okay, this map generates all those biomes near spawn and it, it has a good balance. I like it, let's do it. I didn't do any like looking of like, ooh, where's the stronghold? Ooh, where's the villages? Ooh, wait, what's over here? I didn't do any of that, but I definitely was like, okay, if I can get this stuff near spawn, like these biomes, I knew I wanted a plains biome near spawn because they're just so simple to build in. And then I was like, outside of that, what else do I really want in the world? I was like, I want a desert nearby because I always had wanted to do the papyrus build, but I didn't, I didn't, I got very lucky with the desert being that mesa right next to it with the jungle on top. Oof, I love that thing. Okay, we need a lot more warp trap doors. Probably another two stacks. Uh, I don't make any like real religious structures in Minecraft like base I don't make any religious structures based off of like real world religions um, <clears throat> I used to and I used to build like little chapels and things like that in the builds that I made and then I had one video where I built a mosque and I did a lot of research on it and I, I built the mosque and i thought it turned out really cool and i made sure everything that i made was very like on i spent like hours researching it to make sure i did it right because i knew it was something that is not familiar to me but i can look at the architecture and appreciate it and build off of it and the people commenting on that video were so nasty they were the comments were terrible they were hor like they were so vile that i deleted the video because it was just people were just so rude and just flaming on other religions for no re reason and then none of those appeared on any of the videos that i ever built something based off of like a catholic or christian church and it wasn't even people flaming me for building it they were flaming the the fact that i built a mosque and since then i've very much made the conscious decision that I will never build something based off of a real world religion. And be just, I don't, the amount of people are like, you should build cathedrals, you should build this, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, I, it's, I very much draw a line in the sand there of like, I'm not, 
I'm not gonna do that just because of how rude people were about the other one. I'm not gonna build the one that they want me to build. That was just, it was, it was so weird because I it was before I went full time on YouTube and the video like was getting so many views because of how many comments were being left on it about just people being awful and i was like this is a really cool build i was really happy with the build it was really fun um and so i, I ended up deleting it and just i was like no this is this is dumb <laughs> people on the internet are awful so since then i've been like you know what fine we're nothing i build will ever be based off of specific real world things everything i build is always going to be fantasy inspired and i'm always going to purposely change things away from being a fully realistic thing that's why you'll never see me build something that's like here's a replica of this castle in germany or the uk or whatever it's like i'm never going to build that type of stuff anymore what about a made up lore religion building? Yeah, we have a few of those in the world. I'll do that type of stuff. I'll, I'll make stuff up. We have the religion of the world tree pretty much where we have a little shrine in the flower forest village that is dedicated to it. It has like a sapling of the tree in the middle and I very much made sure that it does not follow the shape of any form of typical real world religious structures. So sorry to hear that. I mean, that's not on me, but it's just on the internet being the internet and not being a good place and then i was like you know what fine i'm making the conscious decision that you'll never see me build a cathedral you'll never see me build a like a full church i'll build a chapel every once in a while but you'll never see me like put crosses on it or any form of like real world religious like symbols i always just kind of do like a different little stick post or something up there um because i think a chapel can be like it's easy to have like a chapel that's not dedicated towards a specific religion. It's just like a place of worship and it's easy to build one. That's just like a gen pretty generic shape. So that's just sad. Yeah, I was very sad at the Internet after that. <laughs> I was like, God, I thought I thought this little Minecraft building channel could be like a much little nicer place than that. But nope. Love to see another giant build like the world tree. I'm gonna do more of those eventually, but they're not gonna be constant. Those take too much of a toll. Turtle. Should you build a sun temple in honor of the great sun god B Dubs? Yeah, that, that'd be worth it. Face looks great. Thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll show you all the chapel thing that we do have. Just because it's on topic. People can't have nice things. Yeah. It was one of those where like, I think it was like four episodes prior. I, I uh, It was like four videos prior. I built a chapel in the building with Whip World and just kind of like built it out and did all that and it was the design that i think thomas had made a long time ago uh that i kind of repurposed into vanilla and updated it and kind of built it to my own um and the, people loved it the comments were so happy and i was like cool let's try this over here because this is gonna be interesting too um and then i was like oh no but yeah this is the chapel of the world tree in here like this this is it so it's very much like its own unique shape there's nothing really too crazy about it but it's literally just like a place where they have a sapling of the world tree they're trying to grow so it's very much themed around the sun and having that pointing in here yeah all the comments that were on there were very much set there to harm it wasn't even like a disagreement of anything it was set to negatively impact people reading the comments Sub religion of Masan Log. <laughs> tree can be turtle. Yeah, that's true. We could we could use a little tree. That would, could work. Uh, Bird draws. Thanks so much for the six months. Masan Log. Masan Log. I'll tell you what, chat. I actually gotta go use the restroom real quick. So I'll be right back with y'all, um, and then we can come on back. So beer bees in just a two minutes. Oh, you know, we have this screen. We can try this thing out. Look at this. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's a BRB screen. Is there no chat? There's no chat. We have to fix that. You all have to have your chat on stream. 
We're gonna copy and go to the BRBs. And we paste. Ah, you can all have your chat. There you go. Okay, BRBs. Alrighty, how are we doing? Are we back? We're here. We're alive. Hello, everybody. Sure, we'll be missed. I know. I kind of, you know, I paid for this screen to be here, did all that, and I was like, you know what? We could, uh, we could actually use the the art that I had commissioned and made and everything because it's so cool, and we might as well use it and all that stuff because fun things. And then I was like, wow, I have that. We could use it. That's great. Traumatizing break. Traumatizing break. Yeah, I know there's no chair. I'm sorry. I left you without any supervision. It's fine. We need the chair. It's okay. It's okay. We'll need a funeral for the chair. It's fine. Also, bird draws again. Thank you so much for the six months. I appreciate it. You need to be joining Base Invaders again. I have never been a part of Base Invaders before. That was a series long time before I was friends with all of them. Maybe. We'll see. Haven't been invited to it. It's kind of Lizzie's thing, so... I gotta wait for Lizzie to send the invite over. It would be fun, but I I am always worried about doing one-off content. I think uh, my channel does very well based off of series. So we'll see. Who knows? Who knows? It would be fun to do something like that, though. It's just I like to I like to always like test the waters, see where things work out or don't work out. What side is this? What is that? North? North! Um, add warp trap doors. Can I bold these? Or like italicize? No, you cannot do that in Minecraft. Fine. What direction was this? North. It is. I, I, I was like, is it west or north? What did I just say? Um... Cover, moss farm, update iron farm storage, custom trees, around zone, underground. These are all like big projects. I want to just have like, what's something chill? Something so super duper chill. Finish backside of mountain, super duper chill. Update lump, do I? Yeah, we're gonna mark, I was like, do I update these and like do them or do we just like leave them or like remove them? I kind of like the update, because then we could like save this book. Once this book is full, we can just throw it to the side, sign it, and we're done. Uh, world spawn, uh, nor min min nor uh, north side of town, green space. We could do like another building or two out here. That could be kind of fun. Craft more ender chests. You think I need more ender chests? Well, let me show you some ender chests. I got 56 right here. 
We got plenty. Our stars are super chill. Yeah, I need to figure out the design before I do those, though. Star Trader airship. Okay, how about we go into creative and draft up what the Star Trader airship could look like? Okay, 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 car. Okay, car. Somebody said I want a loud car. How about we jump over into creative and kind of draft out what a Star Trader airship could be? I don't know if we'll be able to build it today because I'm getting a little hungry. And usually when I'm hungry, I start to get a little sleepy and I'm like, I'm done streaming now. The post office too. Bro's 56 ender chests. Yeah, duh. Kind of, you get a lot of obsidian when you uh, destroy all the obsidian pillars in the end. Kind of how it works out. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't look at it. Oh, there's a new one that I designed this a little while ago. I never used it. Did I use it? No, yeah, we did use that. Those those are in the, the which one call it? How big of an airship do we want to do? Because we I have this design for an airship. I think this is a little too big. A little too big. We definitely need to do a blimp on it. Barbershop? Let's do a barbershop. Yeah, those were for the quarry, you're right. Where do I, these are all my trees. I've been throwing all my, I've been moving all my trees that I've designed around the place. I guess there's one right there I didn't move. Uh, I've been moving them to there. Also, I wanna share this because I never found a solution for it, but if you all wanna try it, we've, this, this was me and Sausage talking a while ago, and we realized that on mangrove roots, if you waterlog them, you can put coral fans. And you can kind of hide mangrove roots inside trees. Dark oak seem to fit the best. But if anybody wants a fun challenge, figure out how to make a living coral tree. It kind of sucks on the side. Like if they were full, like if you could get the full open fan like this on the side there, that would look so cool. But yeah, that's something that we tried and we could never, we never, neither of us could find a good way to do it. So there's your, there's your challenge. I think this was the original palette I picked for the season two castle. I never used the brown terracotta. Let's big deep. This is basalt. This was hardcore season one, I believe. This was the no. no this was the amplified world. This is when I thought this was a massive nether hub. <laughs> this was the amplified world, um, where I was gonna build a. I thought this was such a cool design for another hub, and it was so massive. And I was gonna put all these mushrooms around the side that you could use to jump up to get onto the roof. Root in tree, place coral block on there, and then the plant. Did the coral stay? Will the coral fan stay alive? Let's try it. What are the bubble? Does this stay alive? So I know that'll stay alive. Actually, I don't will it. So then will you stay alive? Ah, they die. Will not work. Good idea, though. this for oh I think this was for skyblock yeah these are some mushroom tree designs I did a little while ago I was gonna put this is hardcore season one that was the big trees we were using we're back in boat land we designed that boat last stream uh did it, let's just do this all of our boats can be over here get concrete so I'm thinking if we think of a walking space, we can have like this, so we can have a little room and then we'll have like the wall in there and then the rest of his walking space will probably be like this. No, maybe like this, make it really skinny. 
We do a tour over creative world. It's mostly builds from other series. We've, we've done a few tours in the past, so. There's my Santa cookie jar. Anybody remember that? You can waterlog, you can waterlog leaves, but you cannot put coral on leaves. It has to be a mangrove root. Show ya. It is stupid. I don't know why it's this way. So that, that, bam, bam. Place there. Cannot place there. You also, to confirm before anybody says, you cannot do fans. Will that keep it? <gasps> Wait. item frame could work but it wouldn't show up from as far away there's a possibility in that i mean on this here you can also just do this is what i do typically i just waterlog a mossy cobble slab Okay, so this is gonna be here. The very important thing that we need to keep in mind for this ship, airship, is that we cannot do outside trapdoors like that. Because if we do that, Villager Boy will fall off. I think we can do something like that for the shape. Kind of like the idea of it being like this. And then we can have like a, we could honestly have some fun with it and be like lecterns. I guess we could do that and then we could do this on top and then he can't jump over. So that could allow us to get the additional lip here because he wouldn't be able to jump up. So that's a possibility. He needs some fun colors. He deserves some fun. He's been sitting on a dirt block looking at the world forever. gonna go bam 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 so then he kind of gets like this a little bit of this and then it's gonna be like that yeah so that gives us this shape right here and the bottom will probably be slabs what, what slab do we want to use then inside he needs a lectern he needs a bed what's a good librarian bed do we give him like a classic red bed you can have a little crafting table i don't know we'll figure out the rest of that he's a little like the watcher from what if bamboo airship we made a bamboo boat last time so we're gonna do something a little different cyan could work uh, and then we're gonna give him just some storage. He's gonna need it. He's up here for a while. And then we can kind of build that in here. Pleased to meet you. I'm tempted to give a way to access this, an upper deck, but I also don't think it's a smart idea. I think the more we give him access to different spaces, so maybe we just build an upper deck, but we don't give him the ability to get to it. And then that'll be fine.
not my favorite, but you know, what are we making? We're we're building a airship for the Star Trader, because he has been sitting at the top of the world for a very, very long time. Will he fall off on those? I don't think so. Maybe more slabs. Yeah, we're, we're just getting the block. We're blocking in the shape right now. We're blocking in the shape. It's okay. He's gonna need all the storage he can get. Actually, I want this to be a, just a furnace probably. like that I want to kind of limit it so he can't get up so we could actually do I'm kind of liking the crimson I think the crimson would be fun the crimson and the deep slate should be a good combo He won't be able to jump up here. It's, and if we don't do that, he can't jump up there. So we'll leave that as something flat. Um, we could also do like a little hood there that'll even more limit his movement. Kind of thinking we flatten this. And then we can still have this in here because I've got a plan where we can do a we do a little propeller up of here. Or no. I have an airship around here that I love. I made this really wacky engine for. Where is it? Is it over there? Where are, you? Where are you? I don't have the Amplified World anymore to look at it either. Uh, da, 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 da. What did I do? There's this one. What did I do for the engine on this guy? Oh, we just did that. The windmill blade everybody gets mad at me for making. I'm just trying to make a small windmill blade. anything out here I don't think I did I did not okay we'll go back we'll find it we'll make it work I was using like campfires and things as, and little, like engine bits instead of having like a propeller I was doing like dropper and then I had like it was like something like that pretty much but I had like a few of them And we could give him like a little engine instead of being a like propeller powered he's just got a little like he's got a little engine that helps him move around be where the deep slate comes up to probably and probably one more 
that'll work. And then we can bring in... What would be good with the crimson adding in on top of it? Lightning rod necessary. Ooh, that's a, not a bad idea. Hold up here. Hold, oh, hold a minute. We could try this. We could try... Lightning rod. Pleased to meet you. Lauren, thank you for the one year. Your vids are amazing. I watch them with my kids on our family TV time. It would mean a lot if you could do a shout out to Zach and Rosa. Hey, hope you all have a lovely, lovely Friday. Thank you so much for all the support. I really appreciate that. And glad to hear all of you are out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that could, I know it's a little disconnected, but I think it's okay. So cute, so cute. I read Diorad as Doritos just to bug people. It is not working. I think it's working. It's Minecraft. A little bit of disbelief, you know. You want that? What walls do we have? Crimson is really difficult to pair with things, I feel like. Give the villager a plant. <laughs> What if instead on this side, we do like a... a little, he doesn't need a crafting table. He's a villager. He's fine. Uh, so instead, Pleased we could do like you. a little boop boop. He's got his lectern and he's got... If I can spell flower pots. He's got a torch flower here. He doesn't need barrels. He's a villager. Uh, and then we can do trap doors like this so he can still kind of be able to see out and then up here He's got like a little corn flower. We got the barrels over there. That's fine uh, A door because of course he needs a door I ooh, maybe cherry along with this could work Does cherry work Like strip cherry log Kind of. Not super happy with how far this, I, I'm not happy with this up here yet. Let's try cherry. Let's see where this goes. One, two, three, four. Let's try this. Let's let's do this whole whole bit right here with our cherry. And then we'll kind of blame my ear. Cherry's cute. Try bamboo. Uh, what if we did instead of the sprucey trapdoors right here? I'm, I'm not a fan of those. Not a big fan of the sprucey trapdoors right now. We gotta get rid of the last little bits of this concrete. Actually, I realized recently that strip bamboo and regular bamboo planks, if they're on their side like that, you can't tell the difference. Have you heard of Looney? I am I'm aware of the Looney. So I just hit four thousand days. This is very cool for him. They're in Looney's book. Nice. Nice. 
Does it need a blimp? Like, does it need an air balloon above it? And then is the next bud out? I, I don't know what you mean by bud. Instead of that, we could do like a. Pleased to meet you! Is it a little something that's like holding on to the. It also kind of looks like a grill of sorts. Gives it a little bit more of that techie feel. Let's go bam, bam, and then we can have an ant, like anvils up here. I'm trying to just create more shape, more interest in the shape. What's your bid on the 1.21 update? I have no idea. I'm really hoping it's either an end update or I still, uh, it, end update or inventory update, I think are the two routes that if they go either of those, I, I'll be very happy with it. Uh, Philippe, thank you so much for becoming a member. And also Rune Bunny, thank you so much for the 11 months. Hard to believe how quick a year goes as an adult. Dude, they fly by. That's all I know. Oh, oh, eggs just sent me a picture of the tree idea using dark prismarine waterlogged stairs. Good idea, good idea. Uh, let's go here and we can add little like trap doors above the windows. And then for glass, we can just do some light gray. Actually, we're gonna go gray, make it a little bit darker. floor in here needs something. I don't want it to be simple. So I'm thinking we just go with like spruce. Hard to go wrong there. If there's no balloon, you'll need some, you'll need something else to keep it afloat like the air balloons. Yeah, I guess we already have balloons in the world. Pleased to meet you. We definitely you. already have balloons, so that makes sense. Yeah, we could have a bookshelf in here. You're right, you're right, you're right. Book. A book. We have that. If we have, if we need more storage space, we can do something in there. If we want another little detail. Um... us i kind of want to be like a flat cut though i feel like a little flat top on here could be kind of cool then we can add some x we can add like a little fire going up to the tippy top you know so maybe instead of those these can also be slabs and this can be a full block Like that. Sure. I don't know. We're going to try this. There's no lighting on the boat currently. That is one thing we're missing. So maybe inside of here. For simplicity's sake, Pleased we just throw you. a lantern. That should be enough light for everywhere because it'll leak out the windows. Uh, you could have some small wings. Look on the side. I feel like it'd get very big. 
Miss Galley, thank you so much for the 16 months. And also Fran, thank you so much for the 17 months. I really appreciate it from both of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If it's steampunk, make it a metal balloon. Kind of connect the balloons between your areas. Yeah. What I'm thinking is that we just grab, let's grab a concrete. Let's just grab white concrete for the balloon. Cause this would be here. Then I kind of like just doing like a flat bottom for them. And then that would bring it all the way back to here. And we'll probably send up like that. But then this is where it's gonna be a little bit of a, then we'll add like some spruce framing or something around it. Maybe to there. And then this can be like the back of it cause the fire is there. So we don't want to be behind that. And then that would be a two. And then back up to the front here. And then this is gonna be a two. We can do a, I don't know. We'll try this. This could come up and like connect by a fence or something. We will find out eventually. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, it is an even number, so there's that. Uh, so then we can weight it one to the back. And do a little like this. And that'll help it look more like it has like an angle. It's a real. Route to it. Hi, f -Wick. Just joined What's Going On? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, Looking forward to the next hardcore video loving the series. Should be out tomorrow. Three, should should be three, out less tomorrow. Three, less than Brenna, three, thank less you so much three, for the donut. <laughs> Less than three, less than three, less than three. Right back at you. Thank you so very much. I do appreciate that. Um, yeah, new hardcore video should be out tomorrow. Uh, right now, we're kind of working on designing a little airship for the Star Trader, that villager that's sitting above the world tree that has been there for it, a while. Uh, so we're going to try and give him a home. Is the goal. Maybe we extend that out one. Looks a little flat, but I also kind of like the comedic effect of it. <laughs> Put a good year sign on it. They gotta pay me for that. Actually, no, that's illegal now in Minecraft. You can't do that anymore. That's against the new terms of service. I think maybe this. That gives us a little bit more on the front. It's like a little fake cloud, which is funny. That's kind of the idea I'm going with here. Maybe that could come out again. We'll turn this into wool for sure. But the way that these guys can connect back here can be like here. this we can change out to be a little spruce fence but then also i always like doing this on them i know it costs a lot of extra wood to make it happen but i think it's very worth it is uh just running along and doing a, a little outer trim on it this also can help give us a little bit more shape Here on the back, we can just do trapdoors. And we run that to there. And that kind of frames it nicely. Gives it a little bit more definition. I still want to mess with that a touch more. I think we need a texture. We just, we, I'm not sure I like the deep slate is the problem. I think that's where I keep coming. Like a little bit of an issue. 
we can do this along the sides here too. Do 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 do. Woo! Looks like a blimp. That's the hope. Is the hope? So we can do something like that. That works. And then it can do like a little bit more. Just on the front or something. No, I'm not a big fan of that. We can do that with some wool texturing. What color, what color should the blimp be? I don't want it to be like super distracting is the problem, but we can definitely still add like a little bit to it, you know? Light blue, gray, cyan, blue or pink. Well, the star trader, I was thinking like putting a star on it, but that'd be so, be so over the top. If you had gold stars and add a little star trader detail, that's kind of what I was thinking, but I was like, I think I worry it'd be a little, maybe we can do like a, a little world edit, replace white, concrete with blue wool and then we take some yellow wool and we can just do like speckles almost kind of like <laughs> Giving me like uh, pajamas. <laughs> they got like nice little star star pajamas. Yeah. And then we can maybe grab, let's see, what wool do we have? Purple would be a little bit darker, yeah. Purple's not actually that dark. Let's see, blue. For real. Hear me out. Black wool and nether stars and invisible item frames. Now it could be an option. I don't know if I'm gonna go for it because we, we the item frames would not load in. You gotta remember that this sits at the very top of the world. Had very boat now. <laughs> I kind of like that. It's the problem is is the colors with this are everywhere. And that is making me not enjoy it. We have red and maroon. Like we have pink and maroon and yellow as the base. And then we have blues. Like they, they just don't, they don't connect. So I'm not a the biggest of fans. If we try... Let's eat cherry. pink stars warp wood instead of cherry that introduces another wood type though and we still have that same problem for me it's bad I like the idea but I'm not in love with the current execution hey, for real. I think is where I'm skulk. at skulk Skulk could work. Also, Rune Bunny and Zaybear, thank you for the donos. I appreciate that. We do have a Skulk farm. That could kind of look like just Night Sky. It has a little animation to it. Skulk Balloon. Skulk 
balloon. That's, uh, it's a little too dark. Very dark. I like the idea, though. I don't know if it's going to work here. I think we're overthinking it. I think we're definitely overthinking it. Um, oh, that goes. All the extras just for when I make the schematic. Still not the happiest with the hole. I think the hole is something that is still standing out and not working too well for me. What would work with cherry wood? Like where where do we transition cherry wood into something darker? Anything about the cherry? I don't know. I, don't, I think the cherry. I think we can work on the cherry. Amethyst balloon. I actually like that idea. go no bamboo the bamboo i think is a attempt that did not pan out and then here we can do kind of a little like bam brings the crimson down a touch Now deep slate tiles on the bottom. That would be way darker than this. And I feel like the problem is that it's so dark. It's such a weird build. <laughs> it's so weird. What if we just chop this? say no that is where it ends but then the blimp is like then we need to move the blimp back which we can do i think we move the blimp back one now a little bit better any sky building tips this is as best as I can do my friend
Best I can do is try and mess around with this right now and hopefully something makes sense to somebody. Because, <laughs> uh, not making much sense to me. A little higher might work. I kind of like it being smaller, though. You gotta remember, we're building this at world height, so... We already have to deal with getting the villager from up there, who is currently sitting at max world height. He's gonna have to get moved down to this. And these trapdoors need to stay because that's stopping the villager from being able to jump up. Two blocks longer on the front and back. I feel like it's got the egg shape down. I don't know. I kind of don't really mind it. I don't think it's bad right now. The cool part about Minecraft is there's a million right ways to do it. You do something like that. I think it's getting there. Where's Marina instead of Deep Slate? I like the cool, just like simple tone of the Deep Slate though. This is the problem. Also, sorry if it's getting a little noisy. Uh, people are outside. Doing yard work on the neighborhood. Does that come in the mic? 100% is. Let me shut my window. Okay. That should be a little bit better. The yeah, this looks off. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get it for like that stars vibe of Star Trader. Yeah, the first brain, I think, is... Uh, off tone for the dark oak instead of spruce. Can we try it? I'm always very cautious about using dark oak. I don't know why. Dark oak to me is one of those blocks that I'm like, yeah, it's in the game. I just never use it. But maybe in this context, it could work. It could work. I think you're, I think whoever mentioned the dark oak, thank you. That's a, that's a good call. Because then that'll actually blend with the crimson a little bit better too. Let's do this. Change all of the spruce that we currently have out for dark oak. I know Dark Oak's like a good block. Like it looks nice. But I just don't like it. <laughs> it's for how I build in this game, it always just is too dark. It's just a little too dark. I like I like to have a bright and like shiny build. But maybe sometimes having that contrast on it is what's needed to make the brights brighter. You need to have a dark. Otherwise, it gets very muted because everything is bright. It's Star Trader vibe. Yeah. I can't remember what book he trades. I think we just traded paper with him once. We're like, yeah, cool, thanks. I'm going to move him away from the tree a touch, too. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get him in a minecart first. And make sure he doesn't have a way to fall off and die. Yeah, I think that fits. I still kinda like the wonky little engine back here. I know it's stupid, but I think it's funny. <laughs> what if instead? We just do this as the propeller. I kind of like that more. Blackstone would be way too dark. We add more lines to the balloon. And we could do like one like coming across like this. Ah, 
The only problem is, is you have to do like... Actually, this isn't bad. We can do this. Do that, splits it again. The splash of copper at the back. Yeah, the copper was kind of nice back here. Too much. Too much. Maybe we do the old one. Copper ties in with the Dwarven Village, which is a cool story. Yeah, yeah. Copper decks down the propeller. Yeah. No, we'll keep that. That's fine. Gets a little bit more distance. Then. the amber this from the top to down there. Dark oak fences. Okay. I like the chains. I like it being a little see-through. Amber this rudder. If only we could put it like there. The Amethyst kind of looks like a little engine. It kind of looks like fire popping out from an engine. <laughs> like these down here could be like little bits like propelling it up in the air. Maybe ask Blocky to take a shot at this. I think we're getting it. I think we're getting there, though. The problem is, most likely, that I'm trying to give ourselves this much space inside for the villager, which is forcing this bit of a weirder shape here. This is what we could do is that instead for the engine, we like amethyst clusters, we get rid of it here, and then we just turn this into a rudder that would allow them to like turn. Actually, we wouldn't really need that to be any at all anymore. So maybe we just have it as like the engine back here. Make it a little wacky.
not like other ships. I'm different. I think it's kind of getting there. It's whimsical. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. I mean, this... The star trader we have, you got to remember that he's like... He's our, he's our boy. He, he got us the advancement. He needs something pretty cool. Maybe we turn like furnaces out here. As like side exhaust. No purper on the bottom. I feel like purper being everywhere is too much. But we could try this as a pillar. No, 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 no. We're overthinking it. Under here. Glass furnaces probably would be better. I'm just trying to be cheap. smaller amethyst bloods see you you gotta remember that like this is gonna be up at world height so like the closest we'll be seeing this is probably like here but like it'll be way up there like we're gonna be way underneath this thing so if we want anything to pop out we need to make it pretty aggressive um We need to keep that in mind. You still have to build this in survival? Yeah, that's no problem. It's just getting some blocks. Kinda wanna extend this out, another one. So that they're not in line this way. Yeah, I think that gives a little bit more interest. Calcite ship with smooth basalt. I wish we had slabs. Dude, if we had basalt slabs, we'd for sure do the base out of this. That'd be so bright. What would be slightly darker than our amethyst? them into the hardcore world either screenshots or you can use a schematic from the mod lightmatica it basically just shows you where you want to build things that's the like the quick way to do it but i mean the old the og old school way blue terracotta blue terracotta be better yeah probably better that's just color more i am colorblind after all I think it'll help having a little shading to it. Gives it a little bit more interest. You gotta remember that like once we're so far back, we're not gonna be able to see much of the detail. So that right there kind of gives it a forced shadow, which I think is good. I think is good. Now for the cherry.
That'll help give us a little bit more. Yeah. See, I remember from all the way back here is kind of where we're going to be seeing it. I think that works. I mean, technically, I mean, you can't see it because of bedrock. But, like, we'll be, like, way down under. Trying obsidian? I think it's a little too, a little too much. I'm trying to bring, I'm trying to take detail away because the amethyst is already such a detailed block that I don't want to introduce more. But I did see some people say this. Which could be kind of nice little lights. Or torpedoes. I don't know. No. Little lights. Little little observation lights. Mangrove instead of purple. I kinda like the purple though. I don't like this. that has to go up there. My favorite. I don't think I'm assuming that a ship like this wouldn't really need an anchor. They'd more have ropes to tie to things that they'd keep up on top. used to typing spruce. What if we go inside here? We can make it. And we turn this all into just trap doors. Kind of gives ourselves a little bit of a falling lip down instead of a harsh line. It looks very steampunky. That's kind of the idea we're going for. Well, the balloon is at the front is pointed because you want it to be more aerodynamic to be able to move that way is the idea. And rods off the back of the end of this. Pull a little mini B-dubs moment. got a little smoke trail. Wait, I kind of love that. I kind of like that. That's a good idea. I know you're probably thinking only one to extend it out, but it gives it a little like slipstream. Yeah, we're going to do that. That's fun. I like the ladder idea. We could have a little ladder. See, if we throw out ideas, eventually we will all reach something that works. It might not be the original idea that's said, but eventually we do get to a pretty decent point. And that's that's the whole point of this. Spirit Almond with the 13 months. Thank you so very much for that. I do appreciate it. Make it longer, it looks a little blunt. That's kind of the point. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want the ship itself to be massive. It's just literally villagers gonna be walking back and forth up here so you can have more space. 
And we have to make sure that none of this, like that can't be a slab because he, the villager cannot be allowed to get out. Once they're inside this, they are stuck inside because <laughs> he will kill himself. So we're going to deposit him directly into the house. I'm not going to break his mine card until he's in here. Everything else is built. And then, uh, then we figure it out. Make the end rods go down after a while. I feel like it'd just be putting at it the same way. If not, it'd be, it'd, it, they would be like risen up. Uh, ladder. I don't really want to do like an authentic ladder. Joe. So let's do fence gates. This can be our little warped feature that people want. Where we're gonna have I think from up close it looks dumb but maybe we chop off the top my keybinds are very basic outside of i changed uh t to be sprint and don't ask me why that gives a little bit extra shape on there nay <laughs> no <laughs> ask me one nether star somewhere just saying yeah Ladder is too thick. Yeah, I was trying to go cartoony scale. I don't want to just like throw a ladder in. I guess we don't need fence gates on it. Like this could just be our ladder. Like that could be the ladder and that's fine. Like our ladder doesn't have to be special. It could be that. Doesn't have to be usable. I mean, the fence gates weren't usable anyways. Why in blue? I don't know. Fun. Something that stands out. Figure a safety color that you need would be a very obvious color to see. Hanging signs? <gasps> Ooh. Hanging signs. Let's see. Doot. 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 not connected. I guess we could have it connect the other way. I did add a mod that allows hanging signs to render in from farther. <laughs> Ladder here. <laughs> yeah, because now we can render hanging signs from like way the heck out here. I think it looks so much better. I like that. That's a good call. Thank you. Whoever said that. I'm sorry. I read hanging signs. I was like, woo. Ladder has to go all the way down. No, it's not. It's not going 200 blocks to the ground. Safety ladder. Exactly. Makes it feel like it's moving like a rope ladder. Yeah, it's kind of like just bending all over the place. Those ladders that are never fun to climb we do that as a little front what do you think about the balloon being point being at the back for wind resistance oh like where it has to come back to a corner to... I don't know I think it's fine like this as is we could do like a this and just give it its own little point back here is kind of like a, a somewhat useful. Cause that's going to block the smoke. So we can't do that. I think at this point you should stop messing with it. Yeah, <laughs> probably. 
I do like it though. I think it's fun. I think this might be something that we build on stream next week. Because I definitely do not have time today because we've been streaming almost three hours. But I think it's good. I don't know about you all, but I, I think this will work. Maybe a little anchor. We don't, I don't think an anchor would really apply for airships, at least in the way I think of them as. But let's let's do a little something. Is that? You need to go. Okay, that is the entire space. It turned out a little, a little bigger than I was expecting. Uh, area editor. Star Trader Airship. We're gonna do a little free cam action just so that we can position the thing. So bear with me. No riots. But I mostly just wanna see what it looks like from down here. Load. Star Trader. Okay. Where is it? Hello? Did I not save it properly? Happy accident to match the purple entry. Yeah, I guess so. Um, Let me try resaving that. Why didn't that work? You hit delete, not save. Did I really? No, because it started her airship. No, it's here. It's there. Why didn't that work in the hardcore world? I mean, like, look at this. I got cute it looks. Just doing a little doot doot doot. It's just doing a little. little Pup, 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 pup. I don't know if I can name the schematic stick. Why isn't this working? Oh, I must have had the weird, a weird layer range on. Okay. All right, here's cheating mode. Welcome to cheating. We are currently hacking to see if the building will work. The best part about free cam, if you haven't checked it out, is this is actually a way that you can you can move schematics around while you're in free cam. Does it work if you go? Okay, so we can actually track the top of the world. Cause I still, I want the top of the airship to be the top of the world still. I think that's very important. All right, so it has to be at this layer. That we can go three or two. I'm thinking if we position it close to the star trader, cause it's gotta be somewhere in there. And he's like flying over the tree. Maybe we go behind him a little bit. So it's like more over the, do we want it over the city? No, maybe we have him back here. Like over the mountain. Kind of like he just came over the mountain. For those who are worried about... I say it's hacked. Oh my gosh. Ban this guy right now. <laughs> but for something that we're going to... 
we spent so much time picking the colors and detailing. <laughs> Granted, it's blue rendered because it's schematic mode, but <laughs> that's how big it's gonna be. <laughs> Everyone's like, no, no, do this. Try this detail. Try that. Try this over here. <laughs> we just spent an hour. We just spent over an hour trying to figure out what this is going to look like. <laughs> That's all we're going to see. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, we're doing that. That's perfect. The end rods up there are going to be great. We could have done more. I think actually we could extend the end rods out a little bit more, but we'll do that when we're building the thing. We will know. <laughs> Won't the future tree cover it? Uh, it'll probably cover it from that angle. I don't want the tree going all the way to world height, but the tree will probably... Ooh, yeah, you're right. It will come out to there. Because I wanted to extend the tree almost twice the distance. So we do need to send it back that way. Probably to like... We'll bring him forward because I want him... I want that in the view. Like to there. Go to like 250. That seems like a good... Yeah, because that puts him in front of the city. What's that put him over? Because I'm going to redo this mountain eventually. That kind of puts him right there. Where this mountain, I want to keep the general shape to it. I like the shape where it's like do-do-do and then builds up. And I just want to kind of elongate that and redo that top section. But, you know, we got to kind of finish that mountain first. Need some helipads around the base. So I'm kind of doing a mix of World of Warcraft Fantasy where this stuff is allowed but then also doing a form of disenchantment the netflix show fantasy where the people in the medieval zone there's like a medieval world then there's a fully like industrial like steampunky metropolis and they, then there's like all the other places and this like the they just don't interact too much so like this place won't need to account for airships because they they're just like no that's that's craziness like there's no way that thing flies they're using magic blah 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 and uh then this guy can maybe be from like a far off na like place where they do have airships or whatever maybe when you're trying to extend the uh, lower them as they get farther away yeah we can uh, we'll mess around with some stuff for that for sure probably lighter color for engine walls so they don't look like part of, part of the bottom of the ship I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I think it'll be fine. I want the ship to also make it look like the deep slate we're using as like a metal for the hull. So that's totally fine to have it all look the same if the same metal is used. But we'll just hide that for now and come back and build it next week. Cool. What's the material list on that? Nothing. Because I turned off the placement. Aren't you? Why aren't you working? Do I need to be closer. Hello. Hello. Ah, there we go. I had to be closer. Oh, that's not too bad. Most thing is blocks of amethyst, and we need 80, 86 of them. Here we have horse mountain. Well, animal mountain. <laughs> There's always so many animals up here. It's so funny. I love it. But I'll tell you what, friends. That's going to do it for today's stream. Thank you all so much for hanging. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and weekend and all that good stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for all the support today. All the members, re-members, new members, donos, and all that. We're back above 1,100, which is really cool. We're at 1,115 right now. So thank you all so very much. Uh, I did just hear from Marcos that he's about to send over the first draft, which means hardcore video should be out tomorrow. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. How are you going to move the villager? Minecart rail with dirt, something like that. We'll figure it out. I don't know. But thank you everybody so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Uh, and with that, I'm going to go get some lunch. So I'm going to get on out of here. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.